Hi everyone. So we're going to do a real quick eyeshadow tutorial today and um, I'm going to play around with some kind of bold colors today. So this is the palette I'm going to use. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So I have this new color denim um, that I'm going to be using today um, with some of my other colors. So let's get right to it and I'll kind of walk you through the steps I do to create a really pretty eye look that can go from daytime to nighttime without having to start all over. Um, and I have hooded eyes, which means that the hood of my eye kind of goes over my eye ball to where when I open up my eyes, I can't really see my lid. So you can see where my crease is right here. So we're gonna talk about how to make sure that you can see the colors that you're applying to your eyes, even if you have a hooded lid, which is a really common thing for a lot of women to have. So that's what I'm gonna be working on today. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep my eyelids. You can use an eyeshadow primer if you have one of those, but you don't have to go out and buy one. So we have, again, our products can serve multi-uses. So I'm gonna use this color called Linen. It's a highlight color, and I just use it to prime my eyelid. So I'm just tapping the multitasker brush, the flat end of that, lightly into that linen color, and I'm just gonna put it all over my lid, a very light coating of it. Let me get a little bit more on there. Hold on, I'm also trying to hold my mirror so I can see. And so this serves as an eyeshadow primer so that you just kind of get a little bit of um, tackiness to your eyelid. This will allow your colors to adhere and really be a lot more vibrant. You don't have to do this step. I will often just apply my eyeshadow and it really lasts quite a while even without priming your lid but it's a nice little added step. You could take any um, highlight color to do this. I like the linen because it really brightens up my underbrow then, but you could take your brightener color and do the same thing. So both eyelids now have that just kind of nice um, brightening candles. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pretty much use this brush, which is called our shadow brush, eyeshadow brush. I'm going to pretty much use this for the entire look. Um, it is such a great brush. It has a fluffy end and a detailed end for more detail work and honestly this brush is what i use for almost all of my eyeshadow looks it is so versatile and just really creates great looks you don't need a bunch of brushes to do your eyes so i'm tapping into this color called cupcake and it's very close in color to that linen color that i had that I primed my lids with, and I just brush a light coating over the surface. And this is really just to kind of set that linen color. And again, it just creates an eyelid that's all one color, so that if you have little um, redness on your eyes or capillaries that are sticking out. This just camouflages all of that. Also, my eyelids um, sometimes get a little oily. It's about the only place on my face anymore that gets oily. Um, and this will help set everything so it doesn't get oily and then your eyeshadows crease. So, all right, the next thing I'm going to do 
is I'm going to go in with this color and it's a really light warm brown color and it's called basic and I'm going to go in with it and with that fluffy end of the brush and because my eyes are hooded I want to make sure I'm going to be able to see the color so I just kind of hold my eye open and place the color so that I can see it and now I kind of know how far up I want to take that color and I'm just kind of using a windshield wiper motion to apply this color on the crease but really more above the crease and then I go a little bit along the lash line. I used to apply my colors kind of just right in my crease and then, you know, couldn't really see what I'd done and I didn't ever really realize what I could do differently. Okay, with just those two colors, and I apologize for the dog barking. Hey, I could stop right there with just those two colors. And it's a really nice everyday look. Um, but we're going to add in some color too. So I'm going to take my denim. So don't be afraid to try some new colors um, just to see what happens, right? Um, blues are coming back so um, I used the small end of that multi or uh, the eyeshadow brush and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it kind of in the outer V of my eye and again I want to place it so I can see it so I just kind of give myself a little bit of a dot so I have a guide It's highly pigmented, so a little bit is going to go a long ways. So I'm kind of place that dot there, and then I'm going to blend it into that V. And you really have to just kind of keep looking, make sure you're getting both eyes even. And don't get too worried right now if it looks a little dark, because we'll fix it. This denim makes a really, really pretty under eye statement. So by just rolling that under my eye, I end up with a really pretty blue eyeliner.
Okay. Um, we have something that we call our brush cleaner tile. And I just swirled the brush on there. And that takes all of that color off of there. Really lickety splits, kind of a rough texture. So I'm just cleaning both ends of the brush. And what I'm going to do is just without any color on this fluffy end, I'm going to go in and I'm going to blend all these colors in together in kind of a swirly motion. And that's where we're going to end up with these softer lines. Instead of that really heavy dark line that I applied. brush off again. What do you think? I don't know. I kind of like it. But we're not done yet. Okay. So, all right, we're going to lighten this up even a little bit more. So, this could be your daytime look as well, or even a nighttime look. We're going to take this color Unicorn, which is a really pretty white shimmery. Just tapping the fluffy end of my brush in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to swirl it here on the inner third of my eye and up under the brow bone. And that just further softens everything out. You see the difference? So you just tap it in the unicorn. And then we're going to swirl it on here and up under the brow. And you can layer these colors to make them as intense as you want. They're really pigmented, so, and they're buildable. So don't think that one swipe is what you have to kind of settle for. If you want a more dramatic look, more intense color, then just keep applying the same color on the same spot until it's the intensity that you want. And then just blend. Just remember to always blend. Because the idea is, is we don't want there to be harsh lines along your eyelid, we want there to be kind of gradient color so that the colors are there and they're separated, but they're not harsh lines. Okay. So what I will do now is I'm going to go back in with that um, multitasker brush and that linen highlight color that I did before and to prime my lid, and I'm going to just kind of clean up here under the brow. What this does is it kind of really opens up your eye. It cleans up the unevenness that you might have had from the shadows. And look how it really arches the eyebrow then. So just
Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't wear blue very often, but I thought it would be fun to just kind of try some new colors um, instead of using the same old browns and pinks that I generally gravitate towards. So this is a really pretty um, daytime look. It may be a little dark for daytime, so you could just make this your evening look. We can also pop it out a little bit more for the evening by using this color, Salem, and I'm gonna use that to just kind of further accent the outer corner of my eye. So I'm gonna take the small end of that detail, or the eyeshadow brush, tap it in there just a few times, shake out the excess, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put it right in the corner. And I'm just doing this to add a little bit more dramatic accent to just the outer corner of my eye. So don't take it as far over as I did the denim. And then I'm just going to run it a little bit also, because this Salem is kind of a black. So it's really great for creating that smoky eye. But I'm going to run it under my eye again. And mixed with that denim, I now have a really pretty eyeliner. And I don't really need to put any other eyeliner on. Um, I certainly can, but I don't need to. So there you go. Run it a little bit over here to above my eyelashes. Just to create that eyeliner effect again. Because I'm going to forego eyeliner. Okay. I'm going to take that fluffy end again. And I'm just going to blend again. So I don't see any of those harsh lines. And I do have some fallout here under my eye. So you can just go in there again, take your brightening highlight, clean that up. Probably if I was to do this look and I was going to go out, I would probably do my eyeshadow before. I'm noticing the, the darker fallout is harder to cover back up, but I already had my makeup done. So just a little tip. If you're going to use the dark colors, probably apply your eyeshadow first and then the rest of your makeup so you don't end up with that fallout there. That's kind of hard to get out. Okay. Last step, if I was to go out and I want to glam this up even more, we have some really great glitter colors that are lots of fun, um, but they can also be, um, really I kind of reserve those for truly special occasions because they're kind of hard to get off, um, but they're totally fun to play with. But we have powder illuminators that also have a lot of shimmer in them and really are a nice, soft, glittery effect without it being glitter. So one of my favorite illuminators, the powdered illuminators, is Glamazing. So Glamazing looks amazing. So you can put it on your cheek to kind of catch some color on your cheek, and you can put it on your lid. So how I am going to do that is I'm going to take our lip conditioner. So it's just a balm, and I put a little bit on my finger, 
and I'm going to place that on my eyelid. So I just dab it in the in the kind of the center and the inner corner or inner third of my lid. And that's going to act as a primer for this glamazing. I'm going to take the multitasker brush again and I'm just going to touch into the glamazing. And I'm just going to kind of press it on my lid where I put that lip balm. Look at the shimmer that that did on this side compared to this one. Again, it's just a really fun way to amp up your eye look from a daytime look to a nighttime look without feeling like you have to get all your makeup off and start all over again. Okay, that's it, ladies. Um, a really fun eyeshadow look that um, takes you from daytime to nighttime. I'll link the colors in the comments. But again, this was our palette. And um, don't be afraid to try new things. Um, it, even if you don't love every single color, I think you'll find that there's a way to make them all work. You just have to play around with the different combinations and have fun with it. So thanks for watching and let us know how we can help you pick out eyeshadow colors for you.